Haven't done this for a while. We're gonna do that one take. Welcome back everybody, my name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. So in the last few years, we've seen the power of battery powered leaf blowers just go off the charts. Most of these battery powered leaf blowers have more power than their gas counterparts. I'm talking CFM and miles per hour. Now, I know there's some holdouts out there for the gas blowers and there's good reason for that. So let's start by showing you exactly what that issue is. So I told you these battery powered leaf blowers struggle with one thing and that one thing is runtime. So today for our test, I've got the brand new 2021 Ryobi 40 volt, 730 CFM, 190 mile per hour battery powered leaf blower. I've got the battery fully charged. Let's see what kind of runtime we get. Here we go. That's it guys, it just died. Let's check the battery. You can see the battery, I depleted all the power in there. And that was just a little shy of, what are we calling that, 10 minutes there? So let's call it like nine and a half minutes. Now the other thing I want you to notice about this particular blower is right at the end there, I almost had no power at all. So you could argue that the last like two minutes were almost worthless. And this is with the battery that is included with this brand new blower. So I want you to know what kind of run times you have. And that sort of captures the problem that many of these battery blower brands are gonna have, except one. Let's get to that. So I know exactly what you guys are saying at home. You're saying, Andrew, if I wanna extend the runtime of my battery powered leap blower, it's simple. All I have to do is get a larger battery to run a longer time. And yes, that's true, but here's the problem with that. When you get a battery like this, this is the Ryobi 40 volt four amp hour battery. So the largest battery this brand sells is a six amp hour battery, which is not going to extend your runtime significantly. Now the second problem is say your brand actually sells a bigger battery the problem is is those batteries get larger they also get heavier so the problem that creates is you're gonna have like a 15 pound blower to swing around and you're gonna have to be he-man to operate it so it turns out there's a real simple solution to this problem let me show you so here it is guys, this is the simple solution that Ego came up with to solve this problem. It's the Ego Link Backpack. And basically what this product lets you do is take the battery off your blower, put it on your back where you can wear it all day long. I have the 10 amp hour battery right back here, which is the biggest Ego battery. Then from there I can take this cord and plug it right into my blower. And I'm going all day long. So to best demonstrate how handy the Ego Link backpack is, let me show you what the weight of the largest Ego battery, the Ego 56 volt 10 amp hour battery would be when connected to a blower. Now keep in mind, this is a massive Ego battery, but let's see how much weight it would be. So it's 12 pounds, 9.7 ounces. Let's call it 13 pounds. That would tire most people out. So obviously carrying this huge Ego battery on the blower is not practical for most. So here's the solution, it's the Ego Link. What you do is you put the battery right there, it sits on your back, and from there you plug it right into the Ego blower. Now what's cool is this actually cuts the weight of the Ego blower in half, it's now six pounds, 3.2 ounces. So although our focus today is on the Ego blower, it turns out the Ego Link is real convenient with all Ego handheld tools. What they do is they've made this adapter right here that looks exactly like an Ego battery and plugs in to any Ego handheld tool. Let me show you what it looks like on a hedger. Here's your hedger right here. Here's the battery. Plug it in and just like a blower, you're good to go. So we know this Ego Blower is an absolute beast in the power category, but today we're looking at improving runtime. We're gonna do that with the Ego Link Backpack. We're gonna see how long we can run the 650 CFM, 180 mile per hour blower with a 10 amp hour battery on my back, and we're gonna run at the only speed I know, 
Turbo. Here we go. And that right there, guys, is the exact reason why Ego is so amazing. This blower was full speed the whole time. Maybe I had to drop off like the last two minutes where the Ryobi was dropping off the whole time. Let's see, I think we got, we got over 30 minutes of runtime. I'm gonna call it 31, 32 minutes. That is amazing. Check out the size of the pile. Actually, you know something? I'm gonna show you the size of the pile. Check this thing out. So there's only one good way to demonstrate how big this leaf pile is that I made with the Ego Blower and the Ego Link Backpack. Here it is, ready? Haven't done this for a while. We're gonna do that in one tank for sure. Whew, that's a one time tank. So what's all this boiled down to? Here's the deal. Basically, there's two things that you need in a handheld battery leaf blower to get a huge pile of leaves like that in your backyard. The first thing is you need power, and there's a few battery-powered leaf blowers that are actually giving tons of power, in some cases more than gas. Now, the second thing that's just as important is runtime longevity. And in my opinion, there's only one brand doing that right now, and that's Ego with the Ego Blower and Ego Link Backpack Combination. Desire. I fell into a ring of fire. So, if you want to find out more about these blowers and the Ego Link, there's a link to the link in the link down below. You'll find it, trust me. While you're there, also hit subscribe. And when you're done with that, let's meet at this video over here. Trust me, it's awesome. See you over there.